Well, it took us what? It took us more than 30 minutes to get to this spot. Just to get down the river, three miles in this fog took us probably 30 minutes or better. It is a wicked fog here today. What was your name again? George. George. Okay, so I got Charlie and George on the boat here, and we're just casting some shrimp onto a spot. Don't really have the current yet. We're kind of between tides right now. You would not believe we were on the south bank of the river. We go to cross to the north bank, and there's two giant ass tugs right in the middle of the river, back to back with another boat behind them that weren't even making a sound. They didn't have their fog horns on, nothing. And here we are trying to cross the river. I'm about to drive right in front of them. I mean, I said to Charlie and George, hey, I get up there, we need lookouts. <laughs> we got to have some lookouts here today. Okay, well, if the tide actually changes, I'm going to re-anchor up again. Because I'm never happy if I'm not anchored up exactly the way I want to be. So if we actually catch a fish here and I get to where I want, I'll give you a little footage. All right, first fish in the fog, little yellow mouth. We had two hooked up. Charlie got his to the boat. So guess what? <laughs> Doesn't matter what it is. First fish goes in the box. It's a, it's a, it's a good luck thing. Pull <laughs> them dogs out. The damn fog is gone. We got a bunch of twelve inchers. And now we're going to the end of the jetty rocks. Couldn't catch a big speckled trout all day. Couldn't catch a speckled trout all day. So we're going out to the big rock. Alright, finally George is on something and we don't know what the hell it is. He's, he's on the buggy whip. He's fishing the buggy whip. On the buggy whip. Oh, it's all exciting. It's probably a god dang bonnet head. <laughs> if it was a big red, he he wouldn't be doing what he's doing. There's Flipper over there making a whole bunch of racket. You know, we got a saying, everything's better with a brown bonnet on it. Everything's better with a brown bonnet on it. There's your Mr. Bonnet. I said, who let the bonnets out? Mm, 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 mm. But he pulls. I grab him and take the hook out of his mouth. So hold him right there while I put the camera in the, in the holder. They act like a redfish, sort of. Mr. Bonnet, bring me a dream. You're the cutest bonnet I've ever seen. <laughs> All right, well, not what we were looking for, but uh, Daiwa Ryoga Saltist and the Daiwa beef stick. The old $500 reel attached to a $39.99 rod. And he's got something on here and we kind of have an idea that the name might start with a B. Because everything's better with a brown bonnet on it. Well, there used to be bull redfish out here, folks. In the winter time when you see all the bait and there's been bait out there everywhere out there the the birds are diving on bait seagulls pelicans i seen the bigs sea mullets going by so there's bait out here well where's them damn bull redfish that used to be out here i don't know because we ain't catching them instead some whiting yellow mouth and everything's better with a brown bonnet on it you see if that was a bull redfish he'd be going towards europe about right now instead of just lurking around on the bottom this is the first time i've been on the south side of the south jetty and it feels like months there we go he's up and he ain't done yet sharks in february well this is the type of sharks that we catch in february folks let me put you back in the holder 
Get you up here in the hoder, folks. So I can deal with Mr. Bonnet. Shark species. All right. All right, just dump them over. Hey, old belly flopper! <laughs> Another day at the Mayport Jetties. Almost time to put it on the trailer. Well, you saw the day. All it was was pretty much yellow mouth trout, small ones, and whiting, and those sharks. That was pretty much it. Not one single speckled trout. Oh, and two scourge about that big. You know the green scourge? Little blue fish. And we fished and fished and fished and fished. So, time to make the donuts is already been done. I cleaned all the fish. Now it's time to go drink a PBR. Someday it'll be better. Well, global warming must be a real thing. After all, it's Sunday, February 27th, and it was 80 degrees. It's a pleasant 72 degrees right now in Jacksonville, Florida. And it's 4.48 in the p.m., which means only one thing. It's PBR time. Come on. Just another day in paradise. 